Hello. Hello. Let's see. Okay. Hey everyone, this is Webdev Sumos and today we are going to solve questions from BAP.dev. I will try to cover some important questions. I'm not sure which question I'm going to solve, but let's see. We can start with TikTok. Okay. There are few questions that we can start solving. I want to solve just not the algorithmic part of it, but just some questions that I can. So I've done implement array dot flat. I've done implement a queue by using stack, uncompressed string, validate string of parentheses. It's okay that we used a stack. So I think I can start with implement get and see how that goes. So the question is implement hyphen get. I'm not sure what is it. Get is a handy method to help retrieving data from an arbitrary object. If the result value from path is undefined, default value is returned. Please create your own get. So I've been given an object. Looks like I have an object with me and get object A, B, C will give me that. Object A, B, C of zero will give me one. Get, so do I have to specify a string per se? Okay, looks like that. And uh, if I specify, specify, let's say, A, B, C, zero, then it should uh, return one. A, B, C of one, it should return two, got it. Mm -hmm. And if I give it an array A, B, C of two, it should return three, got it. And if I give it a A, B, C of three, which is undefined, obviously it's not there. And A, C, A, C, okay, got it. And A dot C, if it is not there, then return, return default value. I see what's happening. So my basic intuition is I can be, uh, let's start this problem. I can be given string or an array. This, this is first condition and um, then I can be also given um, given given a default value which is initially undefined okay default value which is initially undefined. Okay. Um, so yeah, what can I do in this case? What can I do in this case? So I know that there can be nested objects. I know that I have to find a certain value in that object and then got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got it. I th 
think I got this, but the catch is, the catch is, see, oh, we have to, um, what I'm thinking is, when, when parsing a string, string, we can, we can split that string on dot as a delimiter as the delimiter okay we can split that string using delimiter and if and if uh, the input is an array then we can simply tra traverse that array mm -hmm. so basically the object is already uh, already been given to us right object is already been given to us how can we tra traverse this object we can we can take a we can take a from this like the starting point and then we can check if a exists a exists in the in the in the object mm -hmm. but let's say um, let's take this uh, take this object for a while and let's open a, open up our console and let's paste this one let's see obj of a gives me what okay so even if I paste a string there it's still giving me the B so all I can do is all I can do is if it is undefined if at any point I find that it is undefined, I can straight away return that because we, we, we did not find what we are looking for. Okay. So how should we go about solving this problem? How should we begin actually? So like we, we saw that it, it can be either a string or it can be either an array, right? Mm -hmm. And our default value, if it is undefined, if if let's say the default value is uh, not undefined, and that and we find something to be undefined at any point in our in our uh, algorithm, then we can say uh, we can simply return the default value instead of undefined. So what we can do is is default value is default is valid default value is equal to if it is undefined if default value equals to equals to undefined then uh, if it is not equal to undefined then true or else false okay this is this this would be a one flag that I'll require in order to return the value and the other other part that we need to check if and and I'll imagine that our object is Okay, if our past object obj is equal to equal, yeah, if obj is equal to equal to null, then return, we gotta check is valid default value question mark, 
if it is true then we have to return default value or else undefined okay um, this is one of the test cases and now if our object is uh, fine uh, and we can proceed ahead we, what we have to do is let path array we need to check if our path is an array or if it is an if it is a string if it is a string then we have to basically um, try to convert it to a, uh, to to an array and we need to split it but we uh, I did not consider one edge case where uh, we can we can still find a like this one right uh, this guy if you see this example over here um, we have an array of one like c of one if that is the case then our delimiter will on uh, will be getting this guy itself so we we need to check if uh, the last three character c yeah the last three character what are those yeah right isn't that right for us to identify if there is an array or not we need to check that so basically yeah we'll just focus on right now getting the string to an array let like check type of type of path if it is equal to equal to object if it is equal to equal to string path right what what's the problem oh is it not capital yeah type of path so if it is if it is of type string then i want to convert it to so let's say our path is path array is equal to path okay and if the path is equal to equal to string then what do we want to do is we want to assign path array is equal to path dot split split the string into the dots dots that are that have been given to us yep but i'm also not considering the fact that there might be no string at all right um like there might be no dots at all because if you see in this case we we have a then if we put p like this we'll get p and if we put c c like this and then one then okay so i can either have a bunch of square boxes but i suppose they, um, i suppose they have given whatever they can provide us here i don't need to worry about worry about that so okay i won't worry about that right now but I'll split whatever ha uh, whatever I have and then I have my path array ready uh, ready as an array it, it will be an array at this point of time and what I need to do is basically now I need to start traversing uh, my array from the zeroth index zeroth index yeah whatever uh, zero is there I need to traverse it so what edge cases I need to worry about okay I see web devs almost have a good stream Hundred viewers for. Oh, sorry, I'm not looking for any. Uh, any viewers? I'm I'm good. I'm I'm just practicing. 
I don't need any viewers. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what is going on next. What I can I can be giving uh, I uh, I can be given strings or an array default value which is initially undefined, uh, which is initially undefined. Yeah, this is done. The the this is done. And when parsing a string delimiter, this is also done. If the array is input, then we can simply traverse it. Yep, that has been taken care of. Then what? What is the next thing that you will need? What is the next thing that you will need? Mm -hmm. So what I'll, uh, I'll need is uh, a base case, also a base case. If, uh, let's say if my object, I need to also pass Okay, what I need to do is I need to traverse till till the last part of it, right? Till the last part of it. He will give me B. Then I I should be doing it iteratively, right? Um, I've been given or I've been already given the given the string a dot b dot c I've been already given that can I just simply use that Or let's say, like uh, OBJ of A, I can use it like that. Then I can send this guy and the remaining uh, remaining array to the next part. Okay, what I can do is I can I can simply create a helper function function uh, function get helper helper okay um, I will give you my source object I will give you my path and I will also give you my default value okay and on top of it I will also give you uh, my starting point where I want to uh, get started okay so, so it will be zero initially and I want you to start from there. So this would be an index from where I want you to start. Okay, so now all I want to do is, all I want to do is, I want to basically, whatever path array, path array will be there, I want to pass that path array to this guy, um, sorry. array let's call it uh, array let's call it array and what I want to do is let's call this OPG so that there is and let's call it uh, default val okay so that there is no collision of the names got it so so far so good and what i can do is for let i is equal to zero i is less than or what i can do is get helper helper opg zeroth index 
0 index and I will pass the path array to it and um, the default value whatever is given to me and pass that to this guy and uh, yeah so my um, default would be if my obj of of the current um, obj of array of current index but the thing is the value that I have in array can be can be malformed or it won't be in a good shape so how can I make sure that this um, this goes properly into the object okay this is this is a complicated one so I'm so my initial thought process is okay it's the same thing happened in the in the interview I'm I'm stuck how can I proceed ahead and reverse this these objects calm down so I need to take a step back and think how I can how I can deal with uh, with the string let's say I have string of my a b c of 1 I have this this string or let's say c of 1 is there so what what I was thinking and my string can be a number two, a number also, right? So if I just open this up and do this, obj of a, b, sorry, b and c, and let's say I do two, so even if I put string, then it, then also it's coming. So that's that's a good thing. I don't need to worry about whatever the number is, but I still need to worry about if my string contains this guy. Or can I can I just do like this if if that is at all possible? OPJ dot a okay I cannot do that I can only do this and dot I can sorry I can do this oh obj dot a can I do this no I cannot do that I can do this oh sorry 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 my bad obj of a I can do this let's clear this out so this that is okay I can do this I can uh, okay. I can do this then I can can I do this that's what I wanted to check C of 1 sorry it's a string right yeah I cannot do that so for in order for me to do that what I need to do is um, okay C So I can I can just uh, split like let's say okay let C um, let str is equal to C of one 
if my string is like this I can yeah I was just thinking if my C is like this I uh, if I can compare uh, let's say str of str dot length minus one should be this and str of str dot length minus three should be this guy yeah if i find this if i find this then i can simply pick out the two right so that will be my one yeah i i need to i need to find a way where my array of i whatever array of i i'm checking its length if its length is let's say i want its length to be um c one two three four four yeah if it is length is um greater than or equal to four then i i can i can surely validate it for check if the string contains array okay yeah that's what we can do we can check it if array of i or of index whatever index is passed to us if it is e, uh, if that's length is greater than or equal to 4 then what we can do is we can check array um, uh, let's get that into a string let str is equal to array of index okay uh, let last uh, last position is equal to array of in sorry str dot length minus one then third third last position third last position would be or I can okay yeah no 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 I can I, I cannot just uh, third last position would be str or else I don't have to I don't even have to um, check for the third last I can just check if str of str dot length minus one is equal to equal to a closing bracket then I know that um, then I know that my um, there would be an index index in index right uh, so I can simply take let uh, let obj index is equal to 1 uh, is equal to sorry it's been like 30 minutes i'm trying to solve this question but yeah i guess we are close uh, string dot length minus two so yeah we uh, once we do this i guess we will get uh, the the object index that we are looking for okay yeah so Okay, let's uh, let's
I'm just thinking like uh, where where am I going wrong, or uh, should I move this function in here, or what should I be doing? But let's uh, let's continue on this path. That's what I feel I should be doing, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have object index equal to star star uh, str dot length, and I have else if it is not this, then it it will be surely a uh, a string, right? Then we can simply check for its value and. And yeah, we can so we can just keep calling get helper. We can send obj of obj of array of the index. Index we can uh, check that and then index plus one will keep array as it is and default value as it is. Yeah, we can go from here. What I can do is let obj index is equal to index and uh, If index is equal to equal to array dot length minus one, then simply return whatever object value that we have. Okay. OBJ, then OBJ index is equal to the index. Index that we are currently on. Okay, let me let me just think what's happening here. If this is that case, then then what we can do is obj is equal to let st str um, obj str is equal to what I'm trying to do is just str dot split or not split dot uh, slice. I want to slice that string into str is equal to slice it from zeroth to str dot length minus one two three three. Yeah, I want to slice it till there. Uh, let me check if that works. So let str is equal to c1 c1 yeah so if i do str dot slice from zeroth to str dot length length minus 3 i should be getting it till c okay yeah that works so what i can do is i can just do this get that str and my new object would be obj of of str of obj 
sorry yeah obj index obj index okay and i can simply send that obj right away right away and else i can put else in here and obj is equal to obj of index um, array of index yeah array of index whatever the index is uh, index that we are on we'll update that obj with that index and uh, send it send it with that and basically whatever value we'll get we have to return it return this so what's happening here is we are we are validating and if at any point if our obj is equal to equal to undefined undefined then return uh, yeah we have to do the basically the same thing whatever was here we have to do the same thing in here okay so what we are doing is um source right we have to use source so is default value we are checking if default value is there if and if it is there we are setting it to true or false if object that we were checking was null then we we are simply returning the default value or else uh, undefined if, yeah and what we are doing is we are converting we are taking in the path, path array and it can be st either string or an array right so if it is a string then we are splitting it in terms of uh, dots and what we are doing here is we are we are checking uh, we are sending in the current index that we are looping looping through and what we want to do is we have our path array we have the default value uh, that is be th that was given to us um yeah i guess we don't even need default value in this case because we do have access to it and uh, we just needed the array right okay so i'll just take care of that and then we can again start yeah so we have object we have index array and if our object is equal to equal to undefined or if it is equal to equal to null let's say null then we'll simply return uh, whatever if default value is given or if undefined and if let's say we reach till the end then we know that we have processed everything uh, till that point i believe that's what is happening or if okay no no if we uh, reach till array dot length then we know that we have all uh, we have processed till the last point and then we can return so at any given point we can we can be having um yeah at any given point we can uh, we know that we can be having an array um, so what we need to do is basically uh, the dot dot can have this guy right this guy a string can consist of c so we are just uh, checking the current index that we are on currently is it greater than or equal to 4 if it is then uh, what we do is basically that we we then uh, we we then make sure it it, it, it is just a string Okay, yeah, it's just a string. 
and if it is not i need to also uh, take care of else part here if we don't find if we don't find that uh, that square bracket there then it's obviously then we need to set obj is equal to obj of whatever index we are on right now array of index yeah we need i also need to do this so what's happening is if we have this guy here in the string then we we kind of take the object and then we splice the string then we set set the current um, object to whatever we are uh, we were supposed to be pointing at and we increment simply increment the index and go ahead so that's what we want to do every time we are at a given a given point we want to traverse to that so zeroth on zeroth position what will i get a so i want to go to the a so that's what this will enable us to do that's what my i believe that's what is happening uh, and if i uh, let's say take uh, this above code what will it give me i'm not sure but it should give me abc whatever i've requested from it hopefully it will give me that and let's hope for the best okay it's not running oh oh sorry my bad i need to make sure that i do this and now let's try to run this boy yes we got one two three let's check it for this guy console dot log yes we got one okay let's console console dot log for this guy okay this guy let's do it one by one it's okay if it is taking time we'll take our time and then get it right console dot log run above code two cool 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 our uh, algorithm is working yeah and for this guy what we need is we need is three right we need three so will we get three yes we got three cool got it and next is we have to basically send this guy and uh, what it should be uh, giving back is undefined console dot log yeah it gave us undefined and this guy if it should give us back pfe um, b f e let's run above code it gave us pfe cool so that is working fine uh, all the test cases work just fine uh, shall we run it one out of 11 test cases failed we are we are so close we are so close okay if object is get object comma uh, an empty array is given to us yeah an empty array will be given to us right or uh, path is equal to equal to an empty string or a path is equal to equal to 
or we can simply do if part dot length is nothing is equal to equal to zero then if we submit it again yes cool guys we were able to complete this that's awesome that's awesome post it post it yeah i'm going to post it i coded this no explanation but will provide it in some time cool guys i i'm proud i'm proud about this moment i took my time i know it's it was 46 minutes i took a lot of time but we were close and uh, we got got through got through this one and finally we were able to able to solve this this guy and there there might be a easier way of doing this but uh, i'm i'm proud about this moment cool so i'll take a quick break it's been 47 minutes i'll take a quick break and um, i'll be back at it like in around 12 so thank you so much for watching hopefully uh, you learned something from this i learned a lot about myself and how i'll be dealing with such problems in future but yeah it was a nice nice question nice question to be asked let's uh, let's also put it in uh, under a list of important question it was it was asked for from tiktok right so let's uh, let's add it to our list and uh, yeah that is it for this stream uh, see you in the next one. Thank you.